unforgettable poker moment is number 15 from the big game five at Dusk Till Dawn Casino. Roberto Romanello, one of the greatest talkers in poker, Sam, really actually talks himself out of about 50 grand in this pot against Tony G. Yeah, I don't remember this pot. I don't think I was at the table, but I'm looking forward to watching it. There was something special about Tony this night. First of all, he was running quite good. And second of all, he just seems to... How does he get so much action? Because I know yeah, he just plays know. big ball poker and he raises yeah, massive like with big hands. Times, and, no, yeah, he, he seems to get the maximum out of his big hands. Especially in this game. Yeah, I know, but you have to know him. I know him. Okay. <laughs> Tony's been in the straddle so for 100 with the two kings. <laughs> I knew on that last one. All I need to know is I'm a good person. <laughs> this yeah, he Mike Mattis out. Yeah. Boy, he just never had a chance in this game. Straddle. Straddle. Raise yeah, I remember Roland was there. Last time I saw Roland, last time I played with Roland, yeah, was in this game. As well? mm, I haven't seen him around yeah. for a few years. Still drinking, you're a drink. Because I want to drink. Uh, have you even had a system? Really have you really drank any drinks? Any cash games. I think he had come into this second uh, table with about 10,000 and was ahead of him. He had won a bunch of pots, uh, had built it up to about 50 grand, so he was flying at this table. Yeah, I think he's done well in these cash games when he has played. He doesn't play that much cash, but when he has, he seems to have done well. 16? I like being called His Romeo. game is, has really come on, you know, since That's Roberto came on the scene. Yeah. Yeah. He has been a great table talker. He, he, he's like Tony G in him. Yeah, he's brilliant. Oh, he's friendly with it as well. Like, uh, he's a likable guy. Like, I don't know anyone has a bad word to say about Roberto. Just close one. Yeah, that's bad, though. So, uh, Tony G looks like he's going to be able to get a little bit of 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 Okay. All right. Only because he's got a pair. And got a pair. this ends up Looking being forward. the worst 1,200 pound. Which one? Hundred more. Okay, you write down one of them. Okay. Too many hands. Blind. I give you. Okay. Got a small pocket pair. Closing I never lie. Yeah. Hey, hey. I, you write down one of them. I got one of them. Four pairs. Never lie. Look. Oh. Oh, you got okay, two he's, 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 he's a two to one he's favorite. Like, he's two to one favorite. That's when Roland called, he had two threes or four before that. He's not that because he's like even. It's the card just. Hey, it's a complete cooler, really. Yeah, it's tough. Now he's going to use that advantage. He's going to use uh, Roy. He's going to use uh, Roland's thought process. Because he beats aces <laughs> and ace king at this stage, the right? Yeah. Roland might have the two threes or fours. It's a cooler at this stage. Tripped everybody. Uh, it's instant, instant. It's uh, how Tony just insta calls, like, Calculating surprising that he didn't think about raising there in a four-way pot when... You know, Roberto really bets out into a few players. Hey, that's it's great, that's a it's great inter entertainment for somebody. Yeah, whatever. And the, so actually, the fact that Kaitel doesn't whatever. shove here is, I mean, it's whatever. kind of automatic. Oh, that's well really important. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty pretty decent spot. It maybe just didn't feel like it was going through. Wow. This is probably one of the best cards for Roberto to get away from. Ten thousand. I think there's a lot of fun. It, it opens up a whole world of possibilities. I mean, for Tony G, like, if, if Roberto was going to stack off here, you'd have to actually be thinking about the 3 5 at some point. Of stage. course, yeah, it's a hand he could lead with. I mean, he's called pre flop with two sports, so he could definitely call with 3 5, but I think when you've got, like, a middle <laughs> yeah. set. Cool. I don't think you're really too bothered. <laughs> you know you're never going to fold. So. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> My qualifying friend. How's that flush same? draw looking when one pull at the deck? <laughs> <laughs> um, he may be losing this game, all. but he can still read the board, man. So he's pretty good at that. Yeah. Dig deep inside and say, is this my time? Or is it not my time? What do you think Roberto's thinking right now? <laughs> He thinks he's ahead. He's 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 got, I think you're ahead. Yeah, this table is too good value. At least one of these pieces. Probably thinks Tony's going to like King Queen or King Jack. About 10, I think. Heads up. This is gonna be sick though if it's good. Check. A little under 10. <laughs> <laughs> he just bends a massive amount. Just rips it in. Yeah, Tommy, I have to put at least one stack forward, right? But the are a thousand, so I mean it's wow. it's like it's 40 cares. Yeah. You did re-raise pre-flop, didn't you? I mean, this ended up being one of the biggest pots in, in the sure whole did. big game. 
But you could have the Miss Flesh draw, that's the only thing. Great. Love it. Right. <coughs> yeah, he's obviously thinking that Tony has something you could like have that the Miss Flesh draw. Um, you know, eight, All this work for nothing if I get it wrong? Because you don't expect him to do this with ace, ten of spades type hand. You think he may just bet or check, so... And he probably wouldn't rip it with ace, me, king either, would he? No. It's kind of a good bet. Yeah, it's really a good bet. It's a, it's a tough one. It's been a good... It's been a great game. But like... He's not saying anything. Can't go against my gut instinct. Yeah, he's normally a big talker, isn't he? He's not saying anything. I think it's quite smart, actually, to not say anything in this position. <laughs> You made a big raise pre-flop, that's the only thing that I don't like. Could you have called this if you were... You can start to see I reasons think I would, to call I think it. I would have just bet the river. Oof. Bet the river and then folded to a raise like... Um, you know, well, if he thinks the opponent's got a flush draw, the check call is probably better. Well, it is better if he thinks his opponent's got a flush draw. Ooh. Cool. It oh, was expensive. Sort of put all the chips in. I did say all in. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, <laughs> you really don't. You don't Butchers yeah, and black <laughs> bet are out. Two red ones. Nice hand. Tony G always seems to I get... I would never do that. Yeah, no, so. oh, I don't understand. Right. It's all good. Uh, huge, huge pass. All that for nothing. Road. I just didn't want to... Oh, you can always rebuy. 